Lindy, what's the challenge of coming off a nine-day playing against a team like Winnipeg and sort of that really quick turnaround being at home? Uh, you know, managing the puck well, uh, not beating ourselves, knowing that, uh, you know, it's a tough turnaround, uh, you know, similar to what uh, Pitt just had to do with, uh, with us. So, you know, trying to stay away from, from handing the opposition uh, great opportunities uh, with our poor puck play. So the focus will be uh, uh, to try to play a, try to play a real smart game with the puck. When it comes to um, the Jets, what's their biggest threat against your team? Uh, you know, I think they got speed. they got uh, guys up front that uh, are really good on the rush. Uh, they got defense in the play now almost every time. Uh, there's a fourth man. Sometimes both D are getting up ice. Uh, so the challenge will be uh, not to get beat back up ice. It's been a, a nice rotation with the defensemen for you this year, Lindy. What have you liked about the defense, particularly at this stage in the season and, and how they're holding their own? Uh, just the fact that, uh, you know, the group back there is, has been consistent. Uh, you know, there's, there's been uh, different p people playing with uh, different bodies. Uh, We've had good play out of everybody. Uh, I think there's been some highs and lows, but I, I think you can expect that out of uh, out of anybody. We, uh, we wanted to be a better defensive team. Uh, focus is still maintaining a high level of uh, defending, and I think that group has given it to us. What have you seen out of Zetterland from the start of the season to now? Um, you know, I think, again, some ups and downs. Uh, I thought last... Last night he gave us one of his better games. Uh, he's last couple games, uh, he's in on a couple key plays, in on a couple key goals. Uh, he's using his speed uh, better. So I think, again, you know, first full year, a little bit of the ups and downs and uh, of your your first year as a NHL pro. Lindy, last night you said uh, you thought five or six guys maybe at their best game as a devil. Would you put Dawson Mercer into that category, and what have you seen from him the last year? Yeah, I, you know, again, I like, like I said, I thought uh, we made some real good plays. We uh, Our speed going through the neutral zone, our speed into the zone, uh, we beat uh, people wide, which created opportunities. Uh, and I think in Dawson's game, you know, around the front of the net, the the couple goals he scored now recently, he had a couple other opportunities where he drove wide, a play from, I think it was Nico fed him a pass, uh, that their goalie made a good save. Uh, I thought he skated well in the game. So, uh, again, he was one of the guys I thought stood out. On the flip side of that, you also shortened your bench a bit. You had a couple new players, healthy scratch. What do you hope they, those players individually take away from those messages? Well, I, I, I really don't want to make it about any of the individuals. It's just that this group, uh, you know, when you're when you're called, uh, you're called upon to give us a good game. You got to give us a good game. I think that, uh, like I said, we've had some up and downs, but it's not about it's not about one guy sitting out and the next guy going in. It, it has to be about our team wrapping their arms around being a better group and taking responsibility for how we play. And I imagine a lot of that has to do with what we've talked about over the year where you guys are at your best when you can roll those four lines consistently, especially in a game like this on a back-to-back. -back. Well, you know, I think we've we've seen where I've rolled three lines in, in, in stretches and games where it, it really gives us momentum. I think that if the four lines are going well, it, it's a weapon. If it isn't, I think it's a deterrent on the other lines that, that maybe could be picking up more traction. So I just felt last night that uh, it, it looked like uh, those three lines were going really well um, and just throwing them over the boards, you know, one, two, three. It just seemed uh, they were gaining momentum, and I, and I really think they fed off of it. Brian Graves said on the radio last night that in light of the performance against St. Louis, the focus of the team was to get back to their game because we're a good team good teams don't lose two games in a row. What's the importance of a mindset like that? And do you see that having developed over the course of the year? Well, the one thing we talked about in the morning meeting was was really getting back to our game. Uh, and again, that started with puck play. And I think almost every game we, we've been disappointed. It It's slow transition. It's slow breakouts. Uh, not, not having people work uh, away from the puck to support each other probably the biggest difference uh, and when we work for each other and we work toward the puck 
Uh, our breakouts are good. Our entries are good. I mean, if you look at a couple of goals, or the share play turning up, the support, uh, um, our D jumping up wide, being that outside out when uh, you're getting cut, cut off going through the middle of the ice. Those are all the plays that we looked at that uh, and talked about that we're missing in the St. Louis game. Is there a belief, though, that has grown in that room that this is a good team? We feel we feel we... We, we're a good team. We have to play good, though. And, uh, you know, I think last night was, was a game that really, you know, put a smile on my face just for the way we played. Um, we've had some struggles. We've found ways to win games. But that was a game I really felt, uh, you know, once we got halfway through the first period and the penalties uh, got out of the way, I just felt we were, we were skating really well. Uh, and... It looked like the team speed that we've seen all year long. Teams in the top three don't seem to be losing much anyway in the Metropolitan Division. Is this fun? The back and forth, <laughs> trying to catch them, <laughs> trying to keep the Rangers at bay, move on Carolina. What's the definition of fun? <laughs> winning. Uh, just winning. Yeah, you know, I think winning is fun. Uh, we can only control what we do. We can't, you know, we can look up on the other side and see they're winning. That they're going to control what they do. We have to control what we do. Uh, you look at playing Pittsburgh, that's a team that it was an important game. They close in if, if they win. If, if we win, we, we separate even further. So uh, just take it one game at a time and know that we have to take care of what we can take care of. You had some of the, the guys yesterday bashing and taking talk. How do they respond, uh, respond well to the, uh, the, the help of scratch? There's not one, one player that responds well to sitting out. Um, but again, that. It's not about one player, and it's not about the guy sitting out. It is about, it, it's just about the group as a whole.